Hey guys, how are you? Joe here. We're heading up into the hills, into the snow. We've got the tiny camper attached to the back of the truck. We're gonna go set it up for the night. Have some fun. I gotta get everything unattached. We're gonna put the trailer over by the river here. We've got a nice supply of water, but I'll, I'll move the trailer around with the four wheeler after I get everything off. It's much easier that way. I busted up my ribs the other day, so I'm try to take it easy here. some jacks and that's not going to be a problem I don't think good looking good so yeah she moves quite a bit let's go see if we can get these jacks up so surprise surprise I've never used a jack before like for this uh, instance okay that's locked there but it's not high enough so I need to take this out I need to jack this up more apparently Okay, and this should go into here. Okay, and then I'll lower it onto that, and then that should hold it sturdy, right? Right. That's off. Let's see how level it is. Still moves. I just want to test how level it is. Yeah, it shakes a bit. That's for sure. All right, it's got to come up in the front. So what I'll do is jack it up again with the one that's attached. Stick the other one up higher and get it under, I think. And then that should be good. Ah. I was plowing my four-wheeler with the plow the other day. We got dumped on, and I was backing up quick, and I didn't see something. And I launched over the handlebars and got myself in the ribs. Pretty, pretty good. Ah, oh, piss. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Cool. That's all squared away. Uh, maybe I'll get in here organized. I haven't used this much since I got it. Camped in it one other time. Emerald 
and our friends been playing in it. I found evidence of that today when I cleaned this out with a bunch of uh, uh, old candy wrappers and stuff. I'm lucky the, the mice didn't get into it. Emptied it out of a lot of the things that the guy had in it. We bought it from and added some of my own. And I'm gonna cook a good supper tonight. I got a stove. Propane stove, we might use it outside, I might use it in here, I'm not sure yet. I'm not too far from the highway over here, but I like it here because we've got the river next to us. Got a nice open spot, easy to get to, and I'm gonna take my four-wheeler and ride around another spot that's accessible from here without having to go back in the truck. So, all good. Got my chair, we'll have a big fire tonight. Cook up some good food, like I said. I got everything plugged into here. So the plan for today is, hang out, go four-wheeling, and then come back tonight and cook up, edit some videos, and just live out here in the, here in the, uh, and just live out here in the camper and not rough it tonight. We'll have all this electrical stuff. We got a heat source. We got all this electrical stuff. We got a, my laptop, like I said, so everything's good. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Still relatively early. I have plenty of time, even though it gets dark around five uh, now, 5.30. I guess this one here, so it's all out of the way. There we go. And it all can just be run down here behind the table. Revolutionary baby, Ontario lady, seems just for the band. Hold me closer, tiny camper. Tell the headlights on the highway. How's that? Tying a camper in the sand. As if I would have camped on a beach, I could have said that. <laughs> How's it? How's it? How's it look? Can you see me? I can put more lights in here too, but it looks okay. It looks pretty decent. Go pour mount up there. Not too shabby. I want to just. I'm just gonna relax in here, maybe take a little five minute snooze, and then I'm gonna get out, go head out on the four wheeler. It's nice, nice. I'm gonna hang up the necessities. Autumn gave me this to bring. Tons of room. Tons of room. So I've been on the trail for a minute now, and there's tons of tracks. These look like coyote, and then mouse, all the way up, bunny, or squirrel rather.
Oh. Very cool. Well, I just came across a couple cool things. I'm out in the middle of nowhere now. I've been riding for a minute. Check this out. Multiple canine tracks. Like that's a pretty sizable one. Um, and there's no human prints around, right? So that's one side. That's another, and that's relatively fresh. So I think that's wolf, if I'm not mistaken. Like uh, that's way too big for coyote, fox, anything like that. And if it's somebody's dog, then they're frick. There's no houses around here. Look at the size of that. That's a big paw, man. Look, and then there's a squirrel tracks going in there. But like, yeah, I think uh, that's wolf. I could be pretty sure that that's wolf. Wolf tracks. Well, he came over here, smelled something. Honestly, look at the size of it. So, wow, that's a good one. That's a good one. Pretty decent. I've been up this way before, but now I never went this specific way I'm going. So it's kind of cool seeing new stuff. Uh, following a river or a stream here, <clears throat> it's pretty scenic as well. But man, th these tracks go. Like, they go and go and go and go and go. I think, now I'll see, I'll follow them for a bit, see wh where it goes. I was told there's grouse up this way, but I don't know. It might be too late in the year now, or they may all be hunkered down. I'm not sure. But it's cool just to be out anyway. I wanted to explore this area anyway. And uh, it'll be nice to go back to that t tiny camper in the sand. Waterfall, whole big waterfall. I really do like this time of year. Okay, I'll get back with you. just stopped the track stopped okay I was looking at the lake let's go see where they went look they're there so one went that way one guy cut into here this is so fresh. I'm telling you, this must have just happened. That must have scared him away or something. Look, it's so fresh. It's so fresh. He went down, he broke the ice right there. Look at that. Oh, this is crazy. Cool, cool, cool. So he walked out onto the ice here and he broke it and he came up. Oh man, he's right. Oh shoot. Okay, we don't want to do that. But look, there, then he took off over that way. I I didn't even know there was a lake here to be honest. All right, cool man, that's freaking awesome. Ah, just how close it is, you know? How how close on his trail I am, just right behind him. Very cool. I think they split up. I only see one track this way, and I think I went another one that way. Beaver chew. Go see. Yeah, there it is. One I drove over them, but we should see where they go. He tucks off the trail. There, there. Yeah, he went the same way. Look at boom, 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 boom down there, and then out that way. So they're sticking together, definitely sticking together. All right, well, that's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. We'll go check this lake out and 
see what that's all about. Well, we're out at the lake. Won't be long now before uh, it's frozen up for the winter. Not yet though. Checked out my GPS, I found out where I am. I'm gonna keep going up the trail for a bit. It seems like it peters out after a while. So we're down the trail a little bit more and I'll show you guys what I found. It's just big bunny intersection. So I'm gonna walk around in the bush a little bit and see if I can't snag one, but like it's pretty heavy. Not as fresh as the other tracks, but pretty heavily used. You can see him going all in there. And that's where you would set a snare. And the foam, and all down there. So many bunny tracks. Cutting into the bush here and there. Anyway, like I say, I'm gonna spend some time trying to grab one. Who knows? Well, much to my surprise and excitement, we've caught back up with the wolves. They ducked back in onto the trail, not too far back that way from the from the lake side. Um, they came in and they were on the trail for a minute. And then look, he came over here. And what did he do here? He like seemed like a a herd, a mole, or a vole or something. Because why else would he be digging that up? Like it's definitely the the, the wolves. And then he came back over this way. two sets of them again and they're, they were following the, the bunny tracks but as soon as the wolf tracks showed back up the bunny tracks seemed to have disappeared so they're either walking on top of them or the bunnies got wise and they took off but look at it. it was bunny tracks forever now it's wolf again only this is so interesting it's very interesting Perfect day for it too. It's not too cold. It keeps snowing on and off. We got a nice warm place to go back to with some good food. Check it. That snowy hair right there, hundred percent. You can see their trail actually right through there. Oh boy, I would like a bunny, just like Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Trying to get my phone out of my pocket so I can see what time it is. No luck on the bunnies or the grouse. I didn't even really see any grouse tracks, I don't think. Lots of bunny tracks though. But anyways, it seems like I've come to the end of the trail. Uh, it's at a river. It does go through, but I'm not trying to get all wet right now. It's three o'clock. Okay, that's not too bad. 2.51. Let me show you. Trail comes down here. And it looks like it's picked up right over there but and it's not actually it is not deep at all I could go through it cool little spot though I'll look on my GPS and see now I'll check the GPS out and see where the trail goes It's kind of deep there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a little fish. A little minnow. Go back in now. Doesn't look like this trail gets used much. It's got some blow down. It gets tighter up here, so. I'm just going to turn around. Nothing too interesting up here. We'll go back over the creek. Oh. Well, I didn't go back. I ended up turning down a different trail and got down lakeside here. I think this is still the same lake. The snow is blowing sideways out there. I'm just gonna chill for five minutes and then I'm gonna head back. Well, we're back. I saw one bird, but no luck. But that's all right, I have plenty of food. And it was a lot of fun driving around and exploring that area. And I'll certainly come back there to that lake 
Maybe I'll be able to bring my side-by-side -side in and my canoe on top or even my truck maybe in the summertime. And I'm going to look up here. I have the map of the area and see what type of fish are in there. I know there's fish in there because there's fish in the smaller one I've been in but not the proper uh, bigger one. So, anyways, good little trip. I am going to build a small fire pit and split up some firewood, get a fire going, have a couple snacks and relax, and wait till a little bit later to cook up supper. In the summertime, this spot is used a lot by people just coming in car camping and pulling their RVs up. If you want to know where I am, I'm right next to the Mississauga River on Highway 29 across from Little Lafoe Creek. And because of the amount of people that use this area, it's nice and flat. There's rocks everywhere for a fire pit. There's not much firewood, but I did bring some and I can go across and cut some too. That's not an issue. But I have my truck right next to me. Why not, right? That's this type of camp, so. This is Crown Land. You're allowed to be here and nobody owns it. So I guess the king does these days. Pip, Pip, Govna. Use this as like a staging area. Like, I'd love to come back with somebody and show them this area. And like camp out here. Maybe Doug. Me and Doug are supposed to do um, an overlanding type thing out of the truck. So. And I guess Doug got a couple comments saying on my last video, or a couple videos ago, I threw him under the bus. I wasn't referring to Doug at all. I wasn't even referring to anyone specifically. And me and Doug have been friends before this YouTube whole, whole YouTube thing. So I'm uh, sorry if we got lost in translation, but that's certainly not what I meant. You guys should know I love me some Dougie. Teach me how to Dougie. Teach me. Teach me. Everybody love him. Er, er. All right. Okay, that's probably fine, right there. Elton John, Eddie Vedder. Elton Vedder. Eddie John. Hold me closer, Eddie Vedder. don't know what's wrong with me. Well, that little rippling uh, part of the river there is going to be nice to fall asleep to. If I can hear it over the top of my, uh, my heater. Actually, I might not even need the electric heater once I'm in bed. I'll probably shut it off, to be honest with you, so it's not on overnight. I have plenty of... Uh, a warm sleeping bag and a blanket in there. So, ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to sleep. All right, let's get some of this split down. Get a fire going. Gotta be trying to take it easy on the ribs. Oh boy. Busting. We finna see if this is busting or not. All right, I got my prep, my wood prepped out here. Firewood, kindling, super dry kindling. I collected some birch bark when I was out riding today. Just because, again, the resources in this area are probably pretty stripped, and I don't need to take any more from this immediate area than it's already been taken. So, on my travels, birch bark in the old pocket.
Alright. This will be a good fire. Most of this is hardwood. Balling out of control, folks. Oh, I think I need to get these ribs taped up or something. I could put a lot more stuff underneath the bed. My little loafers there, you know. Old dad, old Joe dad style. Yeah, man, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. Be super comfortable in here. Pick up some stuff on the old cast iron and uh, yeah, chill out, edit. Maybe even watch a movie. Who knows? You know, like Tanuki Mario. Whoa! Well, fire's rocking. I got my heater turned on, I just turned it on now. I'm going to uh, close this back up. Let it warm up in there a touch. Then I'll, maybe I'll tuck in there in a little bit and cook up supper. dry socks because my boots got soaked on that ride. I'm gonna leave my boots out here. Oh yeah. Well oh no I dropped my pepperoni. Got it. Alright. All right, well, we're all set up here. I gotta say, it's pretty cozy. Not too much room, but it's also comfortable. So, I got a pepperoni going right now. Got a drink. I think I'm going to do some editing and I will cook up my food soon but like I said I got a snack going on it's not too late what time is it it's almost six so that's good I don't have anywhere to be tomorrow so I can sleep in cook up a good breakfast just enjoy my time out here. I don't really ever do this type of thing, so it's all it's all different, it's all new to me. All right, editing. How'd you guys like that video of Tosh and I? I should get a drone. He's got a drone, and I was able to use it for a couple clips in that video. Seems like everybody, all the cool kids, have one. No Joe though. The only reason I. I held back was because you couldn't use it in provincial parks. But now I guess I'm not really camping them those too often, whereas before I always was. So, anyway. I'm gonna do sausage, potato, some onion, garlic, pepper. Maybe a couple other things I'm forgetting, but that's the gist of it. Hakuna Matata, a lot of patata. All right, that's that. These extras, bonus extras. What else we got? What else we got to cut up? We got these Johnsonville Brats. Johnsonville Mild Italian. So I figure I would cut up one or two. 
for my meal. Just pull it out of the casing, probably. Yeah, oh yeah, like that, like that. Oh, just like that, boy. Just like that, boy. Oh, how it feels so real. Lying here with no one near, only you. And you can hear me. And I say softly, slowly. Hold me closer, tiny temple. This is a super old Coleman propane stove. I've had for a very long time. I believe I got it from my mother. I could be wrong about that though. The boulevard is not that bad, you know? Went down on pound, peering on my hair. Alright. Let's see, I want to open the window, I think. It's nice and toasty in here now. And I don't want to get meat stenched out. Quite toasty up in her, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What else we got going on here? Where that all? Where that all go? The hot all. chestnuts but you know we'll make do alrighty time to dig in try it out oh no oh dropping food mmm oh the sausage is on point Temperature and spice. Holy smokes. Let's have a pepper to calm down, you know? It's a calming down yellow pepper. Mmm. 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 Gotta love the peppers, man. Cooked peppers, you know? Never used to be into it now. Holy smokes. You know how I lived without it. Mmm. Super happy, super good, very comfortable. I could get used to this. <laughs> well, dinner was super good. Finished almost everything. There's some sausage left, but it was, uh, I'm full. Anyway. I have freeze-dried ice cream sandwiches. Crazy sounding, eh? Will made them. She cut them up into little pieces. Mmm. It's so good. Mm. 
You must pay the rent. I can't pay the rent. You must pay the rent. I can't pay the rent. I'll pay the rent. My hero. You know? Anyone else? Anyone else or no? Is that just my weird childhood? My hero. Fire's almost done. I think I'm gonna head to bed soon. Nice and cozy, eh? Look how frickin' cozy fight. Well, it's light out. <laughs> Some ice on the window. I slept okay last night. I was awake and asleep a few times, but uh, it's like seven. It's seven thirty. I'm gonna get up soon and cook some breakfast. Bacon's done. Got my handy dandy paper towels here. You know. Nothing but the best. So I'll put them in the bowl and uh, try and degrease some of this bacon while I cook my eggs. Thanks, Tosh, for the bacon. Looks delicious. All right. So that's that. And that can sit while my eggs cook. <laughs> Not even frozen or nothing. They're going to have to be a little broken up scrambly style just because I don't have... Uh, it's just cast iron, you know, and it kind of sticks with the bacon bits in there, but that's okay. Maybe we'll make a wrap. Oh, telling these paper towels, man. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Oh, jeez. All right, well, I got my eggs done. All scrambled up in here. I'm not going to put it on a wrap. I'm just going to... Throw my bacon back in for a second, warm it back up, and then I'll eat right out of the pan. I'll just move the pan off the, off the burner. But that's a nice uh, breakfast. And I also have an orange and orange juice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Gotta have the door open to have any kind of good light in here. It's just whatever, I'm not too cold anyway, so. Hmm, we're good. Hmm, very good, very good. Oh, I slept in. Again, it's almost 9 o'clock now. Feeling really good. I'm just going to take my time. It takes a little bit to pack all this stuff back up too, but yeah. Pretty cool. I just turned on my truck to see the time and the uh, temperature. And it's negative 6 right now. So negative 6 at like 9.30 in the morning. I Means it was probably roughly negative eight or so last night. Who really knows, but I'm sure it was colder than negative six. So that's pretty good. I haven't had the heater on at all since yesterday when I heated up in general or in the first place. Uh, the stove probably did give off some heat. I'm sure that would make sense. It's propane, right? And I did get warmer when I was cooking. Clean up easier. So this is a fun little trip. I'll come back here this area in the summer to try and get up into that uh, that lake. Actually, I might even be able to ice fish it. To be honest with you, get there in there with the snowmobile. But um, yeah.
I hope to, I think I might have to go get my ribs checked out. Uh, it's not getting better. So we'll probably figure that out and then the next trip will be uh, a cool winter time trip that I wanted to do that I originally wanted this trip to be. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I'll see you soon on the next one.